All right, crew, here we are at 9684 Crescent Lake Circle. Um, whew, where do I start? I, uh, I guess I'm biased because I do love this house. I do love this location. You're right across the street from Victoria Park, right next to Pelican Marsh Elementary, so it is walking distance. Um, there's only 70, 68, maybe 70 homes in this neighborhood. Real, real small. It's just basically a circle. Um, so it is super quiet back here. You can see the space between the neighbors. The houses are a little bit staggered, meaning how they're um, orientated. So they're, you know, they're not like right next to each other, if you know what I mean. So the space is more out front here in the yards. You have sidewalks all the way around. Um, just a really neat pocket of homes that you're not going to find in many places. There's not many that pop on the market here with only 70 homes. Anyway, they do have electric shutters on all the openings. You should be able to get wind credits for that uh, nice Calusias, you know really ample sized yard in the front right obviously a lot of basketball hoops I, I took a good look as i went through some tiled little entry here for fences i don't believe they have fences anywhere i don't think that's allowed you're on the lake anyway so you know again that's that's typically a no-no on, on the lakes they do have a little town mosaic here Big tiles on the, on the square pattern in the main living room. Age of the house, um, I believe it was 87. You know, typically is that split living room, family room. Set up, arched entry into there. Dining room over here. They got a little chair rail set up there in the dining room, which is kind of cool. Um, just that little square opening, you can tell that's what used to be the patio. Then they enclosed it. We'll go back there in a second. Immediately to my left is the master. This is kind of the only oddity about the house. Well, I guess I wouldn't say the only one, but the one that kind of like, kind of goes, well, that's weird. Um, there's like a closet set up over here to the left. So there's like across the hall from each other or whatever little area you want to call this. There's, you know, closet. Now they have closet cabinets in here. So the setup's good, you know. but it's kind of like its own little room almost, right? Because there's a pocket door there. So it leads into the master, but as you can see, it's, it's like its own little space in here, you know, which is kind of cool. You can sit down, put your shoes on, get dressed, probably put a full length mirror. Anyway, it's just a little different. Vaulted ceilings in the master as well. Carpet in this room, nice plantation shutters, chair rail in here. What a lot of people do is they do like two-tone paint, you know, like the darker one on the bottom, lighter one on top, and they have chair rail like that. It really gives it a cool look. Um, dual sinks in here. The master bath is a little bit smaller. So this is the other, you know, larger part of the closet. So like, I guess the his part would be out there and then the her part would be in here. Cause this is, this seems like it'd be big enough um, for one, for one female, not all females, but <laughs> some. More plantation shutters in here. This shower is, is good size but it is kind of just like what they put in was just that like uh it's just one piece right it's just one giant it's like a porcelain it's like a porcelain material that they did and it's just flat it's not attractive to look at but i know they have in the comments that they redid this recently so it's newer it just is very it's just very plain looking right it's functional like i said it's new so it should be it should be in good shape it just you know doesn't leave a lot to be desired for you know decor necessarily the only other idea i had was if you wanted to go big time at some point is you just knock out this whole wall here and all of that and then it would lead into you know this other space and then you could redesign the whole thing and turn that partly into you know a bigger master suite with you know to have the high ceilings and you could you could encompass the master bath all in that area there and here and kind of redesign the whole thing and have to redo the closets a little bit but anyway that's potentially what somebody could do down the road so back to this we're going to go into the kitchen area there's a little transition to the tiles here the older you know 10 by 10 white tiles they got darker cabinets more of the look from you know 2014 type of thing probably was redone you know the browns but it's still it's still very attractive eating kitchen table there again high ceilings 
Got a couple lights here. You can do some pendant lights. I did one there, um, but that's that probably used to be like a little slider pass through right there that that's opened up. Really neat room here that looks out onto the lake. Okay, we'll go out there in a second. Your guest bedrooms are here. Guest bedroom one, right? You get high ceilings throughout all of this, which is which is really neat. Even the guest bedrooms have the high ceilings. They redid the vanity in here, mirror, shower, you know, pretty standard, a little plain there with your white tiles and, but very functional, still in good shape. Carpet in these rooms, again, chair rail that you can decorate on, and then closets are just your simple closets. Both closets are about the same size. So, you know, split bedroom set up. This kind of leads into where they enclosed the patio at one point, right? They got the wood beams there um, as a transition, which is nice. You can tell just, you know, the old, the, the look of the stucco, that's the old concrete. But they did chair rail in here to decorate it up. And then this is the den. So this door leads into kind of the open space that you can see from the master. So that's the slider to the master. So, you know, they just framed this in to make it separate from the other part. So this is kind of your den slash hobby room right off your master. So you could have it as a nursery, you could have it as a workout room, you could have it as an office, all kinds of things. So it's three bedrooms plus that den, plus this room that I'm standing in, right? Cause you still have your living room here, your family room there, and then you have this space. So it's, you really have a lot of space in this house. I mean, they did a really good job with this, with um, making it feel big. They, when they redid this, I'll have to pull the permits to see when this all got done, but it's newer built, nice pavers. They're calling this a pool. To me, this is more like a hot tub, but uh, I don't know how hot, if it gets hot enough to really consider it a hot tub or what. So we'd have to kind of ask those questions, but you can tell it's very reinforced, very, very stable. Okay, so that part's screened in and they got an open part over here. Same pavers. There was a door that they got a chair in front of there, so they obviously aren't using that door. But again, shutters throughout this and it goes all the way over here. So it's plenty, plenty of space. Clusias, real private. They got Clusias on both sides. You just really get a good, just quiet feel out here. It is super peaceful. I mean, for the value, this house is 284 a square foot. When I saw it the other day, I couldn't believe somebody hadn't gobbled it up already. Um, you know, I think it's like 2,400 square feet for the price it is, 679, uh, 284 a square foot. I think you're at, you know, 360, 370 almost at the house you got under contract from Tall Pine. So, I mean, it's a significant difference in value. So the value to me is unbelievable. It's unquestionable. The value on this house is, is fantastic. You know, most of the stuff in Victoria Park, Palm River, all that stuff's trading 300 and above, like well over 300, you know? And this is at 284. 84, I know that right. They say some of the furnishings are negotiable. You know, I don't know if anything here really looks all that fantastic or how much furniture you're bringing in, but that's something that could be discussed. Um, laundry room here, a little desk. Little cabinet space, front load washer, dryer. There is a little pantry door in here. And then we do have a good size garage. You can see the extra space on the side of the garage. So, you know, it's it's got bigger than most, right? Because they got the fridge over there. And then a door leading to the outside. Dump sink in the garage. Celine Dion. Maybe we can negotiate that into the deal. But it is just a really neat house. And again, I'm very biased. I love this community. And not that I don't love Tall Pines, but for the price this is, it is it is unbelievable. Um, the difference in square footage that you can get for the price between the two. High ceilings in here as well. That's it.